What is up, guys? MJPP back again once again for another episode of the Pokemon Sword Tire Block. We're going straight into the 8th gym today because uh, we just finished facing the 7th gym in his. Clear the gym mission really easy and we head our way back to Hammerlock Stadium. Team we're using Parky the Mamoswine, and Cycloptix the Duskbox, Pirouette the Claydol, and Rosie the Rose Raid. Uh, I think we were choice choice band Mamoswine, so I'll go for the Eye Shard for the quad effect. Uh, two Giga Drains to the Gigalith, take it out as I go for yet another Eye Shard on the Sandaconda. However, this one is not quad effective, so it doesn't take it out. Uh, but I was trying to take it out as quickly as possible. We swap Rose Raid in for Claydol as the Duraludon comes in. Sandaconda goes down to the Ice Shards as we take a Max Knuckle from the Duraludon, uh, from the G Max Duraludon. Partly tanks the hit fairly well, uh, but I decide that he is not going to be taking another hit. So I send in Duskrops, who takes a Max Steel Spike reasonably well, as Claydol goes for the Reflect to limit the damage that we are going to be taking. Uh, Sandstorm is still in effect, which is only going to affect uh, Duskrops. We go for Protect on Duskrops to make sure that we get limited damage off this next max steel spike, which it does indeed. Uh, the Duraludon's been raising its defense, but that's okay because Claydol is special. We go for the Earth Power, which takes it down to the red. Uh, I then bring in Rose Raid to tank a hit as Claydol finishes the now normal Duraludon off with one last Earth Power. Um, I did really think that battle through beforehand, uh, so the strategy was always there. Um, and that's why we got through that one deathless. Otherwise, right hand can be a bit tricky if you're not planning for it. So you really have to plan for right hand uh, with his doubles tactics. So there we go, we have finished the gym badge. Um, and now we can make our way to the... Well, supposed Elite Four and Champion uh, of this game. Uh, we do go ahead and grab Breaking Swipe TM, which is very nice indeed. And then we make it to Winden, uh, which is very loosely based on London, obviously. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, obviously we've got Big Ben, uh, we've got the, uh, the London Eye, um, Wembley, probably some other things uh, there. Uh, is there a shard replica or something? I don't know. Uh, but then here we go. We get our final evolutions. We get uh, Togetic into Togekiss, which is going to be huge. Uh, Togekiss is very, very good. Serene Grace, Timid as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and we do get Air Slash as well, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, so, at this point in the game, I'm starting to think about the move sets uh, of our Pokemon now that we're fully evolved. Um, almost, anyway. Obviously, uh, we do some grinding to get Zvylos into Hydreigon. Uh, unfortunately, Hydreigon can only be used in the champion fight uh, because of the level caps. But I do intend to use Hydreigon in the champion fight should we get there anyway. So the move sets are now coming together. I'm thinking about what the best plays are. Uh, we're doing a lot more planning beforehand uh, as we go into the semi-finals against our rivals before the uh, Elite Four. So we have Persimian, Mamoswine, Togekiss, Durant and Corviknight to take on Marnie. She sends out Lipard first. Uh, and I'm fully expecting the fake out to to come in, um, which she, which I, I thought the fake out was coming in. Uh, I go for the drain punch, but she doesn't actually go 
Hall of Fame cards, goes for a Snarl. Lowers my special attack, but that's fine because Persimian is purely physical. And one Drain Punch knocks the Light Blood out and restores us to full. Scrafty comes in, we Drain Punch, bring it down to the red. Scary Face is a bit annoying because it lowers our speed. But then I use this turn to U-turn. However, she does go for a full restore. So Scrafty is still uh, pretty high health. Uh, we bring in Togekiss for its first battle. Uh, go for the Draining Kiss, which is quite effective, and take out the Scrafty fairly easily. Toxicroc comes in, and I see not too much reason not to go for an Air Slash here. So I go for the Air Slash, hoping for a flinch if it doesn't kill, but it does kill in one shot. And then Morpico comes in, uses Spark, which is big, big damage, but Aura Sphere. Takes out the more Pico in one shot. Out comes the G-Max Brimsnarl. And I think... Yeah, we've, we've swapped to Durant to tank any hits that it can do. Takes the Max Starfall. And then on the next turn, I go for Iron Head, which I now have instead of Metal Claw, which is going to reduce the amount of times we miss. Uh, we tank another Max Starfall. And as long as we don't miss here, we win the battle. It was a bit of a risk that last play, um, but we do indeed manage to land the Iron Head and take out the Grim's Knot, uh, winning us the battle. At this point in the game as well, the level caps are very difficult to adhere to because uh, I'm not too sure about the Marnie Hop difference i think they were the same level cap to be fair um so obviously i couldn't use togekiss or high dragon he starts with double persimian comes in and i just go for the drain punch straight away one shots a double and brings us back to full health uh for the next pokemon to come in which is corviknight goes for the drill peck i tank one really well actually uh persimian is proving to be a pretty decent Pokemon, we go for the U-turn uh, to get a free switch in with Ninetales, uh, which I believe this could be Ninetales' first battle as well. We go for the Flamethrower, which almost takes out the Corviknight. We don't have quite enough EVs on the Ninetales as it hasn't been with us uh, for too long, um, and our IVs probably aren't as good as well. Pop goes for the full restore. I just keep spamming flamethrower we land through the swagger confusion and corby knight goes down first victory to nine tail i bring persimian back in for the snorlax i gain all my health back as i bring it down to very very slim health it gets a crit heavy slam which is okay because persimian like i said is proving its worth uh, i go for the u-turn here because i know he probably won't heal as he's already done it uh, once or twice. Snorlax goes down and I get a free switch in. Claydol comes in against Hinkurchin, which I knew was coming out because he only has two left. Go for the Earth Power and out comes his Cinderace. The Pokemon that gave me my last death to my Golette. I stay out with the Claydol to try and tank a Max Flare. We do. Take a Max Flare. The sun comes up, though. I go for the Reflect to try and uh, halve the damage. I then go for Protect, which limits the amount of damage I take. And then, right here, I know I have to swap. So, we go into Barrascuda, or Propel. Propel comes in to tank one hit before the Cinderace uh, comes down. To its normal form we tank a few fire type moves and then liquidation and aqua jet managed to take out cinderace winning us the semi-finals we make our way to the train station after a lot of um 
Macrocosmos, Shenanigans from Oliana, and Piers decides to whack out his microphone and give us a concert so we can make our way to Rose Tower. We go up the elevator and we head to Oliana, which is a very difficult fight. A team admin, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, is what it is. She sends out Frostlass to begin. I lead with Corviknight. Frostlass kind of annoying, goes for the will o halves our attack straight away. Stealing doesn't even do half. So, yeah, it is a bit tricky for us at this moment in time. Uh, and if it keeps going for the status, then we probably won't be able uh, to do too much. I go for the U-turn, but the double teams are starting to kick in. Thankfully, on the second one, I managed to hit the U-turn and switch out before I can take any more damage. I go into Durant, who can already miss a little bit, so this is kind of uh, baiting, baiting the question a little bit. Um, Frostlass goes for the will o yet again, halving our attack. I'm hoping that it still allows me to kill, and it does. We don't miss either, so the Iron Head takes down the Frostlass uh, with a bit, a bit more... Uh, trickiness to it than I was anticipating. So that's what comes in. So I swap to Claydol. Um, so that's what goes for the Incinerate, which does decent amount of damage. Does uh, does forty damage there, but then goes for the Poison Gas, and that is a third Pokemon on our team uh, statists in this battle. One Earth Power takes out the Salazzle Girl. Um, so the poison brings us down to the low health. Um, I swap Claydol as she brings in my low tick. I go to Volta, who's been with us uh, right from the start, pretty much. Uh, takes huge damage from the Surf. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping I outspeed here, so I go for the Volt Switch um, into the my low tick, which does half uh, good damage. And I swap to Manbug. He tanks a Surf on entry. Uh, I decide to go for the Light Screen to stop uh, to stop the Surf damage. Because I'm pretty sure that his only attacking move is Surf. Um, after the Light Screen, I decide to spam some Psychics. She starts going for Recover, which is kind of annoying. Uh, after another Surf. Uh, this, this goes on for a while. Um... We just go back and forth with sidekicks and recovers. I'll get so close to finishing it off. I get the, the death drop with sidekick though. And that activates its competitive. Bringing it to plus two with surf. At this point, I realize that I'm just going to have to sidekick uh, until I can do some decent damage. We keep on going back and forth. I bring it to the red. I get another spadef drop. And unfortunately, at plus four, there's no way Manbug's living. So Manbug goes down. I bring Volta back in to Volt Switch. And the Milotic goes down. But we do indeed lose Orbital, which is very sad because we've had it yet again right from the beginning. Uh, I bring in Durant to counter the Sarina. x does a lot of damage for the burn. Uh... Is, is doing us a lot of damage right now, um, both health and stat-wise. Uh, my light screen wears off, and I get immobilized by love on the same turn, so I have to swap. I go into Corby Knight, uh, knowing I can tank whatever it throws at me. The burn takes us down uh, below half. We go for the fly. We avoid the Trop Kick because I'm up in the air. Fly lands and the Sarina goes down, uh, which is very nice. However, at this point, I'm looking at the team. I'm thinking, what can I possibly do here? Because uh, pretty much everyone is, is weak. Um, I'm looking ahead at other battles. 
Now the side, the Corviknight Ravina has to go down. The G Max Garboda gets a crit Max Rockfall, and we lose our Corviknight. Dusclops comes in, who was our only full health Pokemon at this point. Uh, we tank a hit uh, and go for the Bulldoze, lowering its speed. However, it gets weak armor, so the speed is actually plus one now, but the defense is going down. I don't mind about the speed too much. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we take a bit more chip damage from Sandstorm. After a couple more Bulldozes, uh, his defense is really getting down. So after this last Bulldoze, the Garboda throws, goes for the Toxic Spikes, and we can take it out with a bulldoze winning us the Oleana fight however with two losses or beetle man bug was our second pokemon in this playthrough um so yeah a bit sad that we lost the all beetle uh Corviknight didn't do too much in the playthrough but uh was definitely a very very good defensive one especially when it evolved into Corviknight um, so yeah, very, very sad. We lost two after not losing one, uh, for, a, for, for, a, for a long time, to be fair. We use, we start using some of the mints on our Pokemon, uh, to change the stats, because as I said, when we encountered a lot of these, the natures weren't the best, uh, for a lot of our Pokemon. Uh, so as you can see, I'm I'm beginning to grind up my my Pokemon. As you can see with Barrascuda, level 59, uh, I'm grinding, thinking ahead to the te te technical elite four that's coming up because the level caps jump very very high uh, between battles. I think it's like two levels every single battle. Um, so yeah. Uh, Leon kicks off the finals uh, and Bede interrupts us for a fight. So he sends in Marwar first. He only has four Pokemon. So Ice bring four Pokemon as well. Claydol comes in for us against the Marwar. Uh, I'm not too worried about what it can use against me. I know it probably could have Crunch. It has Intimidate as well, but I'm not bothered about that because we are special. I just go straight for the Earth Power and one-shot the Marwal um, pretty easily. Durant comes in against the Galarian Rapidash, who is now finally a fairy type. I don't know why I went for the x because Iron Head would have killed. Um, but yeah, I went for the x uh for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I went for the x uh, But as Bead goes... For the full restore, I go for a crunch, which brings it down on the half. Then another crunch takes it out. Iron Head uh, smacks the Gardevoir in the face. There was a crit as well. There was no chance that Gardevoir was was, was surviving a hit. Uh, we bring in Grimmsnarl against the G Max Hatterene, uh, who does not take a hit as well as I thought he would. Um, I go for the fake out. And now, I thought it was going to flinch. Uh, so yeah, uh, apparently, G Max Pokemon don't flinch. So uh, after probably doing literally nothing in this playthrough, Grim Snarl goes down. I bring in Dusclops against his now uh, normal sized Hatterene, and he's just. Go, go for the shadow balls. Um, we're yeah, we're quite quite easy to to get. Uh, we can tank it pretty easily. Uh, I go for the protect, however, just to get it out. I bring Dusclops back, send in the Claydol, who is full health, and tank. He goes for a car mind, uh, which is kind of scary. But we're, we're quite specially bulky, so I'm not too worried. It's more about the fact that they got 
the speed death boost. We do tank a hit just about, but I know I outspeed, so we go for an earth power. And that finishes the battle. So again, another loss in a Grim Snarl, unfortunately. But uh, we get into the end game now, so uh, and we have a decent amount of Pokemon at our availability. So this is what we're working with uh, for the last episode. But until then, peace.